Hey y'all, this is Monarch Mama. I'm going to have another weight loss Wednesday for you. I have good news. This week I am down um, 1.4 pounds. I'm loving my new scale. I like that it gives me nice, good numbers and it gives me um, partial pounds. So it helps to know that it was not just one pound, but one and a half pounds. So it's motivating to know that it's more than you know, a little over one pound. And so that helps me to know that I'm pretty close to my goal for the month. My goal for this month is to lose five pounds by the end of November. So I'm pretty much on track for that so far. Um, I've had a pretty good week this week. I've been a lot better about drinking my water and I have been better about drinking my, I'm back to drinking my oolong tea and mandarin tea during the day with the stevia to sweeten it. Um, it's been a busy week. Friday we went to um, the beach and we had our family fun day out at the beach on Friday. I'll try and put a picture in here. And then um, Saturday was my husband um, officiated a wedding so we went to that wedding and it was um, a long day but a fun day and then that evening I got sick and started running fever so I have not been feeling well over the weekend and uh, into part of this week so that means that I have not been walking this week I've not been exercising and then I stayed up late to watch the election and they didn't give the results and anyway so I didn't get up to walk this morning that I'm hoping that tomorrow morning I'll feel good enough to get up and walk and get my exercise up so because I feel better now I'm, I'm feeling a lot better I just had a, a few days there that I wasn't wasn't feeling very good but I'm doing better now so um, you know I when I was thinking about what I was gonna talk about for this video I was thinking how how well I had done this week because I'd lost one and a half pounds and then I started thinking about the things that I had been eating this week and I couldn't remember everything that I mean I know I had like one day I had a donut and I had of course there's still Halloween candy in the house so I probably had a couple of pieces of that and I, I know I had a well, last night we went out on a date last night, so um, we went out to eat and had fried asparagus. That was really good, but it was fried asparagus, so it had breading and it was, you know, kind of greasy. But, but I had fajitas with it, and instead of having the fajitas with the flour tortillas, I just ate the meat and the cheese and the uh, guacamole and sour cream with it and and that was good so um anyway so we went out and had date night last night and um so I did eat a little bit off plan but overall I think I had a pretty good week anyway so I was thinking about all of the things that I had had to eat this week thinking about how I had done pretty well and I came back to my notebook to look and see how my week had gone. The last entry that I have in this notebook where I've been recording what I've been eating, tracking, was last way in Wednesday. And so the day after, I guess it was Thursday of last week was the last day that, day that I had tracked. And of course we had a busy, very busy weekend and then I was sick for a couple of days. So I guess I just didn't think about it, and I didn't think about it until today, until it was time to make the video. So I'm going to have to f come up with a way to make tracking part of my routine, part of my everyday routine. So I'm thinking the way that I want to do that is, um, let me just start using stickers or something like that in my in my notebook tracker to, to make it a little more fun, maybe a little bit more interesting for me. So I'm going to try that this week. Um, another goal that I have for myself this week is to eat a little bit more fruit. I have not been very good about eating my fruit. Um, I have been eating oranges here and there, but uh, I, I just need to make it a conscious effort 
to make sure that I get my fruit in. So that's one thing that I will need to be doing. One of the other positive things that's been going on this week is um, I've been very busy watching the monarchs as they come through. The monarch butterflies have, are traveling through South Texas now and so every couple of days this week I've had um, butterflies visiting uh, my milkweed and I've been kind of keeping an eye on on the growth of the caterpillars that I have there. If you haven't seen my video on that I'll link that here because that's really they're just amazing to watch and they're just so beautiful and there's a a new variety of butterfly that is here this year that I, I have not seen in the past so so that's something that has been keeping me pretty occupied this week. I have been telling y'all about my dad and how he's been in the hospital for the last four weeks so let me just give you a short update on him. He is at a skilled nursing facility this week and they are evaluating him to see um, what what we can do to help him to get well and to get better and so that has been on my mind as well this week. I don't want to say that I've been stressed but I mean I'm trying to keep the stress level down but um, you know it's just a, when a, another thing that you're thinking about so I guess that's why I haven't been tracking as much it's just because we were so busy over the weekend and I mean I just haven't done it I just haven't done it so that's one of my goals this week is to be more faithful about tracking and eating more fruit every day because I've been doing the water and I've been drinking the, the tea so that's been good but, so that's my story for this week of a 1.4 1. 1. pound loss which is about a pound and a half and that brings my total weight loss to 10.2 pounds so I'm right at that 10 pound mark and I've been there for probably three weeks two three weeks and kind of hovering around it and I know I'll get past it it's just going to take patience and time so I'm just going to keep keeping on and I hope that you'll do the same because it's a long haul it's going to take it's going to take time, so I'm going to be patient and do it the right way. Well, y'all take care, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.